James, a good opening victory, first game of the season against Sheffield Eagles at the Shea on Sunday. Um, just how pleased are you with a positive start to 2023? Yeah, no, obviously first game we're down at Shea, so always good to start with a victory and um, want to make Shea a bit of a fortress, a tough place to come. And I think Eagles, there's been a lot of talk about them this year, they've recruited well. And so to go out and get a victory, uh, really pleasing. And with all the talk in the build-up to the season about how poor and the fat's left edge would be with Jake Mays and Lachlan Walms on that side, you crash over as you do in signature fashion on the right edge to prove and remind everybody just how um, top-notch your try-scoring abilities are. How was it to get over for the first try of the 150th anniversary season? Yeah, no, look, obviously we speak a lot about that left side. There's a lot of strike out there. You've got Kesey, Cav, obviously Mays and the tips to come in. One bat, so there's a lot of a lot of prowess out there. So I think I'm more known for obviously hard work and helping boys out where I can. But giving it ball and I can get it down. So yeah, no, it, it was nice to obviously open the scoring and hopefully it's first to many. And it was yourself that took the decisive interception that ended up leading to what was the decisive try in the end. Uh, what was going through your mind about maybe jumping the line at that? point when pretty much the game was on the line. Were you always confident that you were going to snap it? Yeah, well, I think, look, Sheffield came back into it second half and to be honest, we turned over a bit of ball and we struggled to get out of his own end for majority of that second period. So I think just part of game in game, you're not really thinking about what you're going to do next, it's split second stuff. And obviously I've just got offline, realised we were a little bit short and Luckily, I put myself in a good spot where Corey's thrown it and I've managed to come up with it. And then luckily we've turned that into a decent, decent attack and managed to get that winning try at the end. And that's what sealed the victory for our first opening day win in, I think it's three seasons. Moving on to round two, first away trip of the year. They don't get much bigger than this um, in the championship against Featherstone Rovers at Post Office Road. What are you expecting from the Rovers? Um, what are you expecting from this game? Yeah, no, definitely Feverson, they're always they're always up there and again I think they've been talked about as the team to beat, so no better team to go and test yourself again than Feverson this week. I think look they've got a, a big pack. Uh they carry hard, they play play pretty physical, so I think we've got to go over there and match them, um, not get intimidated and just throw up ball around, uh, play how we wanna play and I think last season we probably could have, should have beat them at their place and then when we played them at home I think there were two points in it so uh, a couple of tight games so we'll go there confident um, knowing that we can do a job but it's whoever performs best on the day. And finally then as Betfred Championship fixtures go this is one that most of the neutrals would have circled, a big, it's a big game always is. Halifax against Featherstone, you must be hoping a big crowd gets there and it's a fantastic atmosphere to play in on Sunday. Yeah, definitely. I think if you look through fixtures, uh, this is probably one at, one at biggest that season and for it to come round pretty early gives everyone a chance to come down and watch, watch a decent game of rugby. So hopefully the Fox fans can get there as well and uh, we can give them something to, to cheer on.